these six pairs are void to trade them in the month of October 2023. This is lesson four. I'm here to alert you on what not to trade because you know everyone who trades in the Forex market, they might be trading the wrong thing and the wrong pair. And you see, when you trade the wrong pair, the chances of even making it, they are very less. So I need you to, we discuss, I need you to tell you why you should avoid these six pairs this month of October, why you should stay away, why you should run, why you should remove them in your watch list, why you should not even pay attention on these pairs. Number one, it will be GBPCHF. Lose it, run away from it. AUD card, run away from it. AUD NSD, AUD NSD, run. AUD JPY, run. Euro JPY, remove it in your watch list right now. Just remove it and concentrate on the other pairs. And the last but not least, and I know many people won't agree, it's gold. Gold is very tricky where it is. And if you're a beginner, if you're just familiar with the market, if your account is small, you have uh, less capital, why would you trade something that there is like 30% chances of winning? So the, the this video will mostly make sense for beginners, familiar, for those people who don't have bigger account, and for those people who are ready to protect their capital. If you're a scalper, this video is not for you. If you are advanced, this video is not for you. If you're just, if you don't like taking instruction, again, this video is not for you. You can click out and stop watching because you will criticize for nothing. So before even I go into details why you know you should not trade GBPCHF, Audi card, Audi NSD, I just want to tell you guys that I'm very willing to train everyone here for free. Why? Because at the end of the day, I don't know who, who has been listening to me. And one day we'll meet and don't, don't, don't just pretend you didn't learn from me. So anyway, GBPCHF, this is the GBPCHF you're talking about. You can imagine this is the chart. What do you do when you open a chart? What do you do when you open a chart? And this is four hour. The first thing that you need to understand is that there are three things to do when you open your chart. And I have written here because I want to train you something that you can speak, something that will be more of value, because yes, you have opened this chart, but what are the steps for you to take more? So for beginners, there are three things that you need to understand when you open the chart. Number one, you need to understand the market structure of that chart. Number two, you need to understand the price action. You need to understand the what? The price action. Number three, you need to understand the Forex pattern. Because at the end of the day, the Forex pattern has the set of rules that will govern you from entry level, from the take profit level, from the exit level. So the Forex pattern comes just like a guidance. So we'll start with number one, and I'll not go into details, guys, because again, we are here to learn, but not learn everything. You know, I have already a cause for that. So the market structure, the market structure, we have three types of market structure, and this is what I was writing here before I started this video. So we have three types of market structure. We have an uptrend, we have a downtrend, and we have a ranging. For Just for people who don't understand what I mean, an uptrend is when the market is going on an upward movement and the buyers are in control. So the market is pushing up. Whenever you see the market pushing up like this, that structure, it's called what? Uptrend. So this is an uptrend. So the other type of um, market structure is a downtrend. Whenever you're seeing the market going down, going down, going down, what do you call this? You will categorize this market uh, as a downtrend. And whenever you see a market going sideways, so the market is not making any highs or they are making same highs and same lows, we call this market sideways, ranging, consolidation. So this market can have three names. It can be a sideways market, ranging market, consolidating market. So imagine as a beginner, as a familiar, as a, any trader, if you can't even tell 
what structure the market is, already you are failed. Why? Because that is the first thing that you need to identify. Number one, is it my market that I'm trading? Is it an uptrend? Number two, the market that I'm trading, is it a downtrend? Number three, the market that I'm trading, is it a ranging? And that's what now we have here on 4-Hour. So from what I have taught you, what, what can you categorize this market? Comment down below as you're watching. This is to show that you're engaging with the content because at the end of the day, you are here to learn. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm not here to sugarcoat things. I'm here to make you understand this Forex and even tell you that Forex is easy. It doesn't matter the age limit. It doesn't matter the financial status. It doesn't matter. Like Forex does not care. It doesn't care if you have a degree or you are dropout. It doesn't care if you're homeless or you live in Runda, here in Kenya, the estate that we know has money is Runda. Forex does not care. As long as you know that this is the skill required, it does not care. So comment down below. What do you think this structure is? Is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? Is it a ranging market? I'm giving you one second. Have you commented? Have you commented? Because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here to, uh, to, to, uh, Nini, to encourage you and to take things in your, like to be confident whenever you're analyzing the trades. We don't want the timidity. We, 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 as you're learning, I'm, I'm, I'm canceling the timidity spirit that keep telling people that they cannot make it in Forex. May it come out of you in Jesus' name. So this market is a ranging market. Like I have said, this market, you can see they are doing same highs, same lows, same highs, same lows, same highs. Like this market is good to say it's a ranging market. And whenever you have a ranging market, what do you do? You put a box like that. That's what you do. And there is rules for ranging markets. By the way, if you want to know how to trade a ranging market, also comment down below. Because I have, like I've said, my plan for this October is at least to release 100 lessons. And if people will ask me many questions, I will create videos from your question in the comment section below. So it won't be good. A thousand of you are watching and two people are commenting, surely. If a thousand people watch, a thousand people should comment. So don't be selfish with your comments. So what you should do, you should comment down below if you want me to drop this lesson on the ranging. Because whenever you have a ranging market, I always say it is the easiest to trade. But even if it is easiest to trade, you need this market to break either side. That's the catch, guys. There is patient, so much patient required when you're trading ranging market. Why? Because you have to wait for this market to break either side. So it's either it breaks on the downside like that and you measure that distance. And that's what I'm saying. If you want this lesson with the strategies, with everything, just comment down below. Drop ranging, uh, ranging tutorial. Just do that and I will know that people are interested. So about ranging markets, you have both sides. And then what we need to understand is that if this, the market can break either side, it can break on the downside, which is our support, and it can still break on the resistance side. You see? So imagine you, you want to trade you GBP CHF, and this is four hour, and you're thinking, oh, I have a ranging market. It's just to wait for the market to break either side. But you don't understand that whenever you have understood a market structure of a, a a pair, the next thing and the next important thing is price action. Price action goes way beyond for our. What is price action? Price action is formation of a candlestick. So if I come here, I will be interested with this candle. So if I'm talking of price action, I'm, I've told you price action is formation of candles. So um, if I'm interested with the four hour candle, my focus will be what? Will be this. How did the previous candle form? My focus will not be the current candle because the current candle, I cannot do anything. No action I can do about the current candle. But I can see, oh, the previous candle is a name gap. It's a red candle, momentum candle. I can discuss that. Now, when it comes to price action, you go to 
the daily candle, you go to the weekly candle, and also you go to the monthly candle. That's how serious price action is. If you only do price action using only four hour, again, you are lost. You are supposed to do price action with all across all the time frame. So if I go to daily, so if I go to daily, I just need to know yesterday, today is Thursday. I just to know Wednesday candle, how was it? So if I go to daily, this is what I find. Let me show you quickly. You can see the ranging is still clear on the daily time frame. It's very clear. So if I want to know how my candle is forming, I'll not be interested with the red candle because it's daily. Which candle will I be interested? The green one because it's yesterday, a previous candle. So will I, am I able to analyze according to yesterday's candle? And that's the question. What is the information given to me by yesterday candle? And you see, we will do that until now after going to the yesterday candle, you still flip to weekly and ask yourself, what is happening here? Can I be able to get the same information using the weekly candle? Because you go one week, you go one day, you go one, four hours behind. So as much as you are going backwards, the, now we are taking a look at this, this candle. It's a bullish candle. It's like a spinning top because market had reached uh, around this place and like they were rejected. You see, we are interested with this candle. Why? Because we have pushed time. So we are trying to understand, yes, TVPCHF is a ranging market, but can we tell a story from the weekly perspective? What are they telling us? So this is the candle and you can see buyers are getting rejected and immediately. So we cannot judge the red candle because it's a weekly candle, a current weekly candle that has not closed. Today being on the Thursday, it remains one day, tomorrow, Friday, for this red candle to close. So the green candle is what we are analyzing. So if you cannot able to analyze that green candle, what do you do? You go to monthly to analyze the previous month candle. So when I go to monthly, you can see the box is just two candles. So from the four hour, everything seems so big. Everything seems so big, so elaborated, but you understood the minute you went a higher time frame, you even didn't understand what is happening. And these are the trades and the pairs that we are putting in front of our eyes every single day. You're in five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, trying to trade GBPCHF, but on the monthly, that thing is not even, you cannot explain it. So this is what happens. Imagine you are trying, our previous monthly candle is this red, but all along, if you go to previous, we were getting green. So this is the, uh, September candle. So if, if if you if you try to understand, wait a minute, what is the market telling me? This is the candle guy. This is the candle. And you you try even to ask yourself out loud, what is the market saying? What is it telling me? Should I buy? Should I sell? What is the information? And you see, if at all now you go to step one market structure and even you pull out this or you zoom out, you will even find the bigger ranging market on GBPCHF. You can imagine you are trying to trade a ranging market that has ranged for all these months. This is what you're trying to trade on four hour. This is what people are trying. This is what you're, you're forcing trades. That's why I keep saying the market has refused to come out of this zone. Why would you want to be inside? Why would you want to be selling and there is no breakout of either side? So unless you come on monthly and find a break either on an upside or downside, you have no business to do with GBPCHF. And I'm not telling you like I'm not harsh or anything because many people, they wish someone told them. When you blew account, you always say, I wish I had seen a signal of an opposite direction. Now I'm trying to tell you, even if you see someone posting, buy GBPCHF, you know back in your subconscious that you're not supposed to buy it because for them, they may be scalpers. They just want 30 pips. They, they just want 50 pips. They know how to exit. And I'm not saying nobody can trade GBPCHF. I'm just saying for my followers here, for those people who are beginners, this trade, trying to trade it, it is killing your capital. It is giving you, it will give you, it will give you sleepless night. So 
Can you, now have you understood? I hope now you have understood. If you have understood why we should not trade GBPCHM, and I don't think I will dwell on any other pair like I've dealt with GBPCHM, I think you should stop it. Uh, you should comment or you should comment down below and say, I have understood why I should not trade GBPCHM. So what will be the other five pairs? I have told you and I have shown you why I have come to a conclusion of not trading these pairs. The easiest way to know if I'm supposed to trade a pair, just jump to monthly time frame. Anytime a month starts, you have a very clear pathway to know do I need to trade this trade, this pair for this month or not? So the minute a month comes, a new month, like let's say November comes, you just go to all the pairs monthly. You can know. So what we'll do, because I don't want again to make this video too long. What we'll do, this is what we'll do. AUD card, AUD card, we are going straight to monthly because even if I go to four hour daily, weekly, I will just show you the end opinion, your opinion, like, like I tell my students this way, in your life, there's someone who has the last opinion, either your parent, your spouse, your sibling, there's that person who, if they tell you no, you know it is a no. And everyone has that person. For me, it's my husband. If he doesn't want something, if he doesn't want an idea, if he doesn't want us to do anything, like I respect him that much. The same way when you're trading and you don't have respect on time frame, it will be very, very hard on you. So when you're trading, you should know monthly is my opinion time frame is what that governs or guides me. Monthly is what cancels me. Monthly is what gives me direction. So if monthly is telling me not to, I don't want to find myself doing it. So let's go to AUD card right now so you open the chart on aud card remember we are following the three steps we are following you see the the gbp chf the market structure was arranging market and then the price action was a, a red candle but it's like in decision candle and then forex pattern is that ranging market because ranging market can be a market structure and still can be a forex pattern so let's go to aud card what are you understanding by this pattern? What can you understand? What are you understanding? So we just want to see the market structure. What, is, what do you think? What is this market structure? So even if we start from uh, Jan, Jan, this month, the January 2023, the sellers have been in control. So it is a downtrend. So you can't say this is much ranging. Why? Because sellers keep pushing. The first sellers, the first month there, second month there, third month, fourth month. This is a downtrend. There is nothing like we cannot even argue about it. It's a downtrend. Again, that is the market structure. Now let's go to price action. Previous candle. Which candle is this? Do you think that now sellers have more power to keep pushing this market down? That's the candle. Anytime you have a spinning top, you need to understand spinning top as a candle, which characteristic is it? Is it a momentum candle? Is it a rejection candle? Is it an indecision candle? Spinning tops are categorized as a rejection candle. So it's like this candle is telling us that there's a zone that is getting rejected. And what is that zone? This is the zone, guys. So Audi card has a very, very good zone that this candle, even it is, you can see it. These things are so easy. When you know what to look, when you know how to look, very easy. So price action of previous candle, candle, and we can't judge this candle because it's happening right now. We are judging this spinning top. The spinning top is a rejection candle. What is getting rejected as zone? So can you buy, can you continue selling because it's a downtrend? No. Would you buy? No. Because rejection does not give you an entry, uh, Rejection does not mean now you enter. Rejection tells you if you are selling, come out. Rejection candles, they speak of exit and they speak of patient. More patient is required for you to know the direction that the market will take next. Now let's go to Forex pattern. Once you know this zone is getting rejected and you have understood that the zone that is getting rejected is your previous 
are this is the this is the area that the market is getting rejected and you draw such and zone automatically if you now want to understand the forex pattern tell me what forex pattern do you think aud card uh, has and i don't like saying aud i like saying audi so if you have a problem me saying audi sorry i always say audi card what do you think audi card pattern is comment down below say audi card has this pattern comment i'm giving you chance i'm giving you chance to comment and to um to i i want to know you know when i find audi card and i know it is at the 20th minute i know i'm not wasting my time there are people who i'm training so comment down below what do you think this pattern is audi card how what pattern does it have if you said double bottom, if you said a possible double bottom, you're right. Audi card has a what? A possible double bottom. That's what it has. Now tell me, what are the criteria to be involved with a possible double bottom? If you have been my student here on YouTube, you know we use WBB. Full stop, period, we use WBB. You know, when you have a, a pattern, you already have a strategy about it, it will be easier for you to trade. So for me, I know, ah, possible double bottom. I come draw everything, draw my half, draw my neckline. I'm not going into details, but I just want to show you what I figured, uh, what made me say Audi card I won't be trading. And then my conclusion is, what is WBB? Number one, wait for a green candle. Number two, Check if it's bullish and gas. Number three, if not, WBB. The question is, do we have a green candle? This green candle, you're not sure if it will close green. So we do not have, unless October ends, and I come October, the last day of October or the first day of November, that's when I can trade Audi card. Now, have you understood why you should avoid Audi card? Why would you trade Audi card on lower time frame and monthly? We do not have a confirmation. That's the reason. But if this candle can just engulf on no, in November, I will not be saying avoid Audi card. In fact, I'll be the same person telling you we avoided Audi card in October. Now we are trading Audi card. So don't think when you avoid a pair, it's a bad pair. No, it's just that there is no confirmation. And for it to engulf that red candle, we just need how many pips? 98 pips. You want to tell me a whole month. If these people want, really, really want to make Audi card buy, do you think they will not be able to push you 98 pips? So you have to have patience. That's the reason why. So let's go to the next one. I hope I will finish. Audi NSD, Audi card, they have the same structure. So you come, you open this market and the and the, the, the market, this is monthly. All of them, I'm telling you, monthly. Audi NSD, the market is at this zone. So tell me, why would you even dare to buy or sell? Why are you even selling? The market has rejected this support area. How many times? Let's count with you. This is Audi NSD. I've shifted to Audi NSD. One, two, three, and this is the fourth time. Why would you, why would you think that this market will sell and why would you think it will buy unless the market shows us it will buy with a very good candle we cannot be involved in this market and that's what i'm saying many people do what go to lower time frame they see opportunity they trade and they fail so audi and sd why are you buying i won't go much into details because it's self-explanatory you can do the things i've told you market structure price action forex pattern let's go to audi jpy so audi jpy we had a green candle that closed last month which is a very contradicting candle because that's not what i wanted why because already i had seen this double top is it clear to you how did JPY had this double top? For me, I was not hoping a previous candle to have a green candle. If you know how double top works, you don't want anywhere buyers coming to show up on an app on a double top because double tops are meant to make the market sell. So for me, I was waiting for the half to be broken because I knew because they have tempted for two months. Imagine waiting for this pair. Like I have been waiting for this pair, I think, I don't know, since July, and I've not been trading it. Why? 
I cannot trade lower time frame. Me, I'm not a scalper. I'm not a scalper. I'm a day trader and a swing trader. I don't like scalping because it's just been tough for me. So I was waiting, they break up and then they give me a green candle. Now tell me, what will you be trading here? Would you trade a buy? What is making you buy? How did JPY, if you're buying, if you have a buy, what is making you buy? If you're a scalper, you can go ahead and buy. But if you want to have a consistent way of buying, or a consistent way of selling, you have to have a proof. Why am I buying? When to buy, when to sell, when to hold, when to exit, when to avoid. These are some of the five questions you need to ask yourself every single day. So how did JPY, unless, you see this pattern, it can be two patterns in one. My patient can make me a lot of money. Why? Because number one, it can make a cup and handle. Guys, if you don't know about cup and handle, is the next video I'll be dropping. Lesson five, it will be cup and handle. So no problem, don't worry. And it can break the half and go down. So the question is, why would you have a hurry to trade here? This is a zone that we are not supposed to trade. We are not supposed to trade in this zone. And this is a trap zone. So many people will trade out the JPY in lower time frame. And what they are being done, they are being trapped. Are you understanding? They are being trapped. So Audi JPY, that's the reason. Let's go to Euro JPY. Let's go to Euro JPY. So the fact the Euro JPY, actually, if you're trading Euro JPY, you don't love your capital. You do not love your capital. And you see, Euro JPY dropped 400 pips, I think, on Wednesday. So if you still have your account and you are trading Euro JPY, if you are selling, you made money. If you are buying, you have been whipped and you have blown the account. Comment down below if you blew your account because it has dropped with 371 candle of four hour. It dropped 370. If you are whipped by Euro JPY, let us know because you could have avoided this pair. Comment down below, say Euro JPY, why it whipped me? <laughs> it wiped my account, but I have learned. Imagine starting starting this month, if you came on monthly and say, let me see if I'm supposed to trade Euro JPY. You'd have seen the previous candle is what? Is an indecision candle. Let me tell you, if you ever get an indecision candle, indecision candle is like telling you we can buy or we can sell. Imagine the market is telling you this indecision candle means I can buy, we can buy or we can sell the market. So we do not know what we want to do. And you, you just say, I will buy. And you, from lower time frame, and other people say, I will sell. If you sold with, if you sold your road and you made money, it, you, it, it wouldn't be always like that. There is sometimes you will sell and the market will buy. So if you blew your account, I'm, not, I'm showing you where you made a mistake. The indecision candle had warned you, this trade is not fair. So if you trade it, trade it either with a stop loss, trade it with exit in mind, like trade it carefully, trade it knowing it's a 50-50 trade. Imagine when you trade knowing if you can make it or not, it's not as painful as entering a trade hoping you will win. Because the reason why we feel so bad when you are trading is because we come with the mentality of I have to win. But those people who scalp and they know is this scalping i can either make 50 dollar or lose 50 dollar they'll put stop loss and they're okay but many people are not in that category so euro jpy the only thing that is making me not even look at it is this indecision candle so unless the buyers break out of this area and unless the sellers break out of this area so it's like arranging imagine arranging of one candle on monthly so it's either Either they break out, and these are not are not few pips, like 400 pips and 300 pips. So they break out of that zone. That's when I will trade Euro JPY. Last but not least, and I'll not dwell in this so much, is gold. The reason why I'm not, I am not trading gold is because, can you see where gold is? Let me show you. Gold had a very good monthly candle close a momentum candle, a candle that is showing push for sellers. But the problem is it has already come to this area of interest. So the question is, why would you sell? Why would you be blinded thinking the market will bypass here when you're inside? Why would you be thinking of buying without an entry 
a signal for buy. So can you see what I'm saying? Sometimes we do some things, not even thinking the repercussion. So if you're trading gold, just know it's a 50-50 chance. Put stop loss and don't be mad about it. Don't go crazy. Don't blow your account. Don't like trading gold, gold right now. It's a 50-50 chance. Because unless this double bottom works, and if you see this double bottom, let me show you. That is our half. It has a long way. It has a long way. Hey, gold has a long way. Before it gives us direction, this thing has a, a long, long way. So that is what I'm saying. For me, I'm not checking on gold because you can see there how the market. I, I, I wish if you're selling, you should sell if they break out of this zone. If you're buying, buy if they give you a buy candle monthly, full stop like that is just easy. So that was it. I hope now you have understood why you should avoid the six pairs. If this was helpful, helpful, make sure you like this video, comment down below and share it with your friends. And I hope to see you in lesson five where we'll be discussing cup and handle. Thank you guys and love you.